A global peer-to-peer -peer digital currency is a massive ledger of every transaction ever created from Genesis to present day. For a network to remain peer-to-peer, -peer, solutions need to be found that reduce the burden of running the network and also allow for frictionless payments of the smallest quantities. Most individuals can't comprehend the amount of storage and computing power it takes to achieve the goal of producing thousands of small transactions per second. The aim of this discussion is to shine a bright light on transaction scaling with a specific focus on microtransactions. What are microtransactions and how can we identify a solution that achieves the goal of scaling whilst remaining a peer-to-peer -peer network? This can be categorized into six unique points, all of which need to produce optimally low values. Can the smallest unit available on the network be sent? Is the fee to send this transaction less than or equal to the smallest unit on the network? Can this transaction be confirmed instantly or under a few seconds? How many of these transactions can be sent per second? What is the weight of these transactions on chain? How much computer and internet power is needed to run and stay in sync with the network if it's producing hundreds of thousands of transactions per second? In most cases, we can assume if a network requires more than 300 gigabytes of storage, four gigabytes of RAM, and an internet bandwidth greater than 20 megabytes per second, the majority of users will not be able to or want to run the network. At this point, and in my opinion, a network no longer functions in a peer-to-peer -peer capacity. Some would argue this is nonsense. My phone has one terabyte of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM, and 200 megabytes per second internet bandwidth. To which I would suggest, try running the network that is functioning at the above capacity. It won't take too long for those same people to come to their senses once their thousand dollar phone completely burns out after a few hours of trying to run the chain. It turns out the blockchain technology is useful for more than just sending large amounts of money across the internet securely and permissionlessly. It can also facilitate all kinds of communication activities, including tipping users for content, participation and engagement as a mechanism to reduce spam for communication services and buying low cost items and services instantly with near zero fees. Here's a chart of the basic information regarding popular platforms that are trying to achieve the scaling capacity of thousands of transactions per second, of which only two solutions enable you to send microtransactions of the smallest unit at cost of a single unit or less. As you can see, those are Nano and the Lightning Network. All the platforms listed achieve the ability of sending lots of cheap and fast transactions per second, which is a much needed user experience. But these platforms would still get costly if you needed to send thousands of transactions per day. For example, if I send 10,000 transactions on Digibyte, the cost would be 40 million units or 0.4 DGB. Conducting these same transactions on LN would be 10,000 units or 0.0001 DCR and on Nano, the fees would be zero. Another factor to consider is the amount of weight these transactions would add to the blockchain. Out of all of these solutions, only one optimizes natively to reduce on-chain blow, and that's the Lightning Network. All other platforms produce approximately 250 bytes per transaction, all of which goes on-chain. Running the same example as above for 10,000 transactions on the Nano platform, this would produce approximately 2.5 megabytes of on-chain data. On the Lightning Network, the same calculation of 10,000 transactions can be reduced to two on-chain transactions of 500 bytes, or 0.0005 megabytes. This is due to the off-chain nature of the Lightning Network and the need to only synchronize with the blockchain when opening and closing payment channels. Now let's look at the computer power needed to run one of these networks when they're operating at scale. Fortunately, there are two platforms already considered to be at this level, and they are Solana and Polygon. Solana is a highly scalable layer one blockchain built for mass adoption. The requirements to run a validator node are generally unreachable for a typical user. Here is the spec, a high-speed internet connection, a CPU with 12 cores, 24 threads or more. 256 gigabytes of RAM or more. The recommendation is 512 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes or larger disk space for accounts, and one terabyte or larger disk space for the ledger. As per Solana's specification, the specs listed here should be considered the bare minimum. 
Solana produces approximately one terabyte of data per day. To keep the ledger size manageable, the platform utilizes pruning and sharding methods. Even with all this capacity, it's still worth noting that on both Solana and Polygon, you can't send a microtransaction of a single unit for a single unit fee. In comparison, Decoy's Lightning Network is run using the platform's lightweight SPV mode, which requires less than two gigabytes of storage, one gigabyte of RAM, and can operate seamlessly over an internet connection of approximately two megabytes per second. Over the Lightning Network, you can send a single unit at the cost of a single unit, which is also the standard transaction fee for transactions of one kilobyte of data or less. The Lightning Network conducts the majority of its transactions off-chain, only the opening and closing of payment channels are recorded on chain. This allows for greater scalability at minimum cost in all six areas listed previously. Decred's LN is also fully non custodial and extremely secure. The Lightning Network gets a lot of criticism in the crypto space. But as I continue to conduct my research, this seems more to do with envy and the fact that others can't achieve the same levels of transaction volume without considerable trade offs. When implemented properly as it is on the Decred blockchain, the Lightning Network is currently the only crypto platform capable of maintaining peer-to-peer -peer payment functionality at a scale of 100,000 transactions per second. The Lightning Network is already capable of processing similar quantities of transactions per second to that of Visa's payment network, which is impressive when you consider this is still relatively young technology.